Let's shift our attention to Bengaluru where the city has been shamed yet again. A 22-year-old call center employee was allegedly gang raped by men who offered to rob her home. The police has arrested two suspects and also traced the vehicle in which the crime was allegedly committed. Rohini Swami and Pratibha Raman report for the newsroom. Bengaluru. India's IT hub has been shamed yet again. This time, a 22-year-old call center employee was returning home after work when she was offered a lift by two men in a tempo van. She was threatened with a knife, gang raped inside the vehicle, threatened and thrown out in the same place where she was picked up. It was right at this, this junction that she was picked up. The victim was picked up by a tempo traveller on Saturday night at around 10pm after she finished work. The story emerged to shock the city on a day when Prime Minister visited with the German Chancellor. The police did manage to trace the vehicle in which they suspect the incident happened and have also arrested two accused in the case. Our teams had to verify all such similar vehicles in that area who were working there around in those companies and we finally zeroed down on these two accused. This is the vehicle that has been narrowed down and the police sources say that the victim seems to have identified this particular st uh, sticker which says Pagal and based on which uh, they, the police feel that this could perhaps be the vehicle. Despite a spate of disturbing attacks in a once safe city, all that the Karnataka Home Minister could do was offer condemnation. It was very unfortunate this type of heinous crime was taking place. I think that the entire society we have to condemn this type of people and we have to isolate. That's what I used to say from the beginning. The police is preparing sketches of the accused based on the survivor's description and is making some headway in the investigations. However, this incident certainly tarnishes Bengaluru's image as one of the safest cities for women. With Pratibha Raman and Rohini Swami, Bureau Report, India Today.